Everyone loves a good story, from oral traditions to the novel to film, each tradition and medium with its own distinctness to offer and a way to shine. But one of my favorite ways of engaging with story is a medium that's still quite young, experimental, and underappreciated today. That is, interactive media. Or in other words, the art of the adventure game. And what makes the medium so unique and endearing, as distinct from a novel or a film, is that the narrative unfolds at your own pace, determined by your own actions, curiosity, and choices. Talk to whoever you want to talk to. Explore wherever you want to explore. Solve problems at your own pace and driven by your own curiosity. For example, I might go explore books in a library, work on a puzzle I find fascinating or simply enjoy the scenery. There's a beauty and feeling of expansiveness to this freedom. As if this really is a living world to explore, a mini universe you've tapped into. Adventure games provide the illustrative richness of a storybook, but in an active, living, breathing form. The art from these works are a wonder. There's an undeniable love and craft and passion from the artists and designers who author these stories, in everything from a compelling photorealism to a distinct artistic style. And while there's a tendency for the settings of such games to be fantasy, from the magic-themed Arcadia to the curious mechanical town of Valle de Laine, to the anthropomorphic village of Eastshade, to the nebula of Heaven's Vault, the medium also has the capacity to explore more personal real-world reflections and issues. But even the more fantastical settings, when authored at their best, aren't mere escapism, but explore nuanced and fundamental aspects of our humanity. For example, the Myst series explores themes about the nature and responsibility of creation itself. The Witness reflects on the nature of perception, epiphany, and even delves into philosophy of science. The Talos Principle delves into questions of personal identity from the point of view of an artificial intelligence. And in Heaven's Vault, you play an archaeologist uncovering and deciphering the hieroglyphic language of an ancient culture. There's even experiments in making such experiences more collaborative and cooperative in style. That said, compared to the art of the novel or film, it's clear interactive media is still quite young. It needs time to ripen to find its form, to have new authors and creators take risks and experiment. But that's okay, because there's beauty in that immense and awesome potential. <laughs>